Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay online, sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay online, sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan na ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami, Si J. C. Bautista. Hello, hello. Uh, very, very good morning. Maganda, maganda umaga po sa lahat. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, April 6. And yes, I see Jake. Hello there, Jake. Good morning. Namiss na kita. Matagal na tayong hindi nagkita online. But good morning to you, Jake. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Uh, at uh, ngayong Tuesday na ito, of course, we're still on the subject of mga online job scams, no? Hello there, Achi Quaresma. Magandang umaga. Uh, welcome to the show. And uh, yes, uh, we're still on the subject of online job scams. Uh, and uh, kahapon, nagbigay uh, tayo ng overview for uh, we uh, listed some, uh, some uh, ways how to... Uh, to To, to detect or at least kung paano natin ma, mahirap, mahirap. It's, it's, it's really hard nowadays to, to verify actually or to, to select kung ano yung mga job offers na legit or hindi. Kasi nga, as, as much as there are a lot of job openings nowadays online, marami din dyan mga scammers, right? Um, and, um, ay nako, <laughs> Uh, marami talagang ganyan mga na pangyayari online nowadays because uh, especially itong ano no itong pandemic na to ngayon na marami talagang nagtatrabaho from home nakikita niyo yan sorry na if you see an image there's somebody that's that's my son trying to pass by my back <laughs> but anyway yes i'm broadcasting from my home here in Pampanga but um so um sa Amerika na lang, no, about 14 million people were caught in, um, in, in employment scams. Uh, Taon-taon, you know, uh, maraming na involved sa employment scams. According to, kasi sila mer- meron silang Better Business Bureau. And just the Better Business Bureau sa Amerika, uh, pwede, pwede ka mag-report ng mga scammers, pwede ka mag-report ng cyber, ano, especially uh, tungkol sa businesses na may mga fraud or mga criminal activity. Uh, then sa Better Business Bureau sa Amerika, you can report them. I don't know if we have a similar, ano here, kung sa DTI, pwede kang mag-report, or siguro pwede rin, no? Mag-report ka pagka meron kang business na 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 na, na expose, kunyari, or nalaman mo na hindi legit, or mangloloka lang. Uh, in 2020 alone, yo, Uh, sa Amerika, the Better Business Bureau reported that fraudsters cost victims an estimated $2 billion. Okay? Kasi, pero talaga, even for those who are uh, na seasoned na job seekers, it would, it's very hard to tell the difference between a scam and a genuine offer. Talaga. That's why nga, uh, in, in, itong ating mga pinapag-usapan ngayon, uh, in, in, my, uh, my, in my way, in my own simple way, I want to Uh, help uh, everyone familiarize themselves with the warning signs and protect yourself, di ba? Habang naghahanap kayo ng trabaho. Okay, what happened? 
<laughs> I think why we got uh, disconnected. Okay. Um, I'm back. I, th I hope I'm back. Medyo nawala lang tayo sa airways on the list. Okay, let me see. Am I back online? There, okay. Anyway, there was a bit of an interruption. Talaga yan, technical difficulties, and we're live, so it happens. Um, anyway, so I was saying, now, how, ano ang mga telltale signs, no? Kahapon nag na tayo mag-usapan uh, what to watch out for. And, uh, yun na nga, isa is unang-una dyan yung, okay, unang-una, okay, kung... Uh, yung mga job offers kung paano natin malalaman kung fake to or hindi or legit okay yun na nga uh, unang una okay look at the offer okay sometimes when it, when it's too good to be true di ba when it's too good to be true sabi nga ng ano di ba sabi na nga ng mommy natin if something sounds too good to be true it probably is but actually in this case Sometimes when it's too good to be true, maybe it's not, right? Because uh, ito, ito yung mga ano, paalala lang, isipin mo kung, kung ito yung mga signs na kung baka fake nga itong job offer. Unang-una, if, if they contact you right out of the blue, eh hindi mo naman sila kinontak, right? Hindi, hindi ka nag-apply. Yun lang nga, isipin mo na lang. Sometimes kasi, well... Pag ano kasi son job applicant forever, di ba marami ka pinapadalang resume, marami ka sinasalihan or nag-register ka, whatever. Sometimes hindi mo na maalala. And these people bank on that. So if you didn't contact them, they contacted you, okay? 80% of victims kasi reported that the scammer initiated the contact. You know, sila yung nag-unang mag-contact mag sa'yo. Typically, through a job board or a social media <clears throat> network or platform, Sa ganitong scenario, the employer will often offer you a job right away to try to entice you by saying that you've already made the first cut. Kunyari, pumasa ka na. Yun pa lang, kunyari sa Facebook, di ba marami kayo nakikita dyan na job, uh, job offers. Tapos pag-click mo, kaagad-agad, yung resume mo, naka ano na dun. All you have to do is click apply. And then they immediately say, pumasa ka na sa first tier or first level. And then they want to interview you as a finalist for the job kaagad, right? Well, ayan yung mga too good to be true na ano, medyo ang ano kayo dyan, mag-isip kayo ng konti pag ganun kaagad yung dating na pumasa ka na kaagad, wala ka pang test na ginagawa, right? Parang sinabmit mo lang yung resume mo or sumagot ka lang dun sa, sa call to action na pagpindot ng button na yun, right? Tapos ano pa, sometimes yung bayad, the pay is too high, okay? Much higher than a typical job or more higher or, or, or uh, more higher, ano ba yan? Uh, sorry. <laughs> more higher than da. English teacher, more higher. Anyway, much higher. Okay, pardon me, tao lang po. Much higher than typical for the job na inihingi, right? Masyadong mataas yung sweldo, kunyari. Yung uh, data entry or secretary, may lang triple yung sweldo. Diba? Kunyari, here are two examples, okay? One from an online listing and another reported by a, by ano, by a viewer. Or an online listing, kunyari, meron online listing for a healthcare administrative assistant. So, this is a work-from-home job, okay? Ang kinakailangan ay healthcare administrative assistant, okay? Admin assistant. Ito sa America to, no? Kasi ang... Uh, of course, we're talking about America all the time because these online jobs are, are global or right? international. Tsaka yung, yung nga, nag-hire sila from all over the world. Maraming Filipino hinahire ng mga EA, uh, admin assistant, virtual assistants, right? So ito yung naka-job naka list, kunyari. Uh, looking for a healthcare administrative assistant, kunyari. No? This is a work-from-home job. Tapos ang work hours niya is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. Tapos ang, ang bayad daw. Oh, pakinggan nyo ha. You will earn $45 per hour for this position. Diyos ko, ano lang. Dito Manila lang lang pero eh lang. $45 an hour. Eh yung mga post oh, postal employees nga. $25, $30. Ito $45 ha. $45. Hello, that's... Um, that's almost uh, 5,000 
pesos per hour for this position. You are also expected online at Yahoo Messenger during work hours. We also offer flexible hours. O, di ba? Ang ganyan. Ganyan nga too good to be true. Siyempre, lahat ng tao, talo na na sa opportunity na yan. $45 an hour, 9 to 4 lang, Monday to Friday lang. Mag-earn ka ng ganyan, almost as about 4,000 pesos an hour. Parang tanga, right? And that's, uh, you work uh, six hours, six times, ano? Oh my gosh. Like more than, what, 20,000 a day? Hmm. Tapos, uh, you know, sabing meron nga, meron dito na sabi, I have never had anyone offer me a job working 20 hours a week for seven to two thousand uh, uh, seven to two thousand eight hundred dollars annually without an inter interview, di ba? Tapos ito nga yung offer na yan, 20 hours lang. Tsaka, walang sinasabi kung anong gagawin mo, okay? Yeah, itong yung nag ano na yan, naghanap ng healthcare administrative assistant. Yung mga sinabi ko ano yung job mo, what, the, what job description wala. Tapos ano pa, walang interview ni na kailangan daw. Tapos tapos yung company address sa Spain, oh. Tapos magtaka ka talaga pag for example, you get the job right away, right? After a quick phone, minsan Meron, meron talaga minsan meron actual pang tatawag sa eh from somewhere kasi they ask for your phone number when you click on the the job opening thing when they require you to put your information then they ask for your phone number Kanya, after a quick phone or online interview the interviewer immediately contacts you to offer you the job pagkausap na pagkausap niyo ang tip lang dyan ha scammers troll job boards or yung mga upwork or freelance looking for victims to reduce the chance that you'll get scammed, use job sites that have privacy policies and only allow verified employers to view the listing. Okay? Salihan nyo yung mga legit like Upwork, uh, freelance, or free jobs. Okay? Tapos ano pa? Ano pa ang dapat nyo ano, tandaan? Pagka hindi malinaw yung mga job requirements and job description, right? It's quite vague. Diba? Uh... Uh, pag hindi talaga malina, right? Ayan no? tinan nyo to. You are offered a job without an application, interview, or discussion with the employer. Diba? Napaka-weird naman yung na ganun. Diba? Parang ano talaga yun? Na wala ng interview, basta lang kasi sinabit mo yung information mo, kinuha ng ka information, Pasado ka na sa first, ano, pass. <clears throat> think again. Think again. Because that's too good to be true. Tapos yung ngayon, number two sinasabi ko. <clears throat> Parang, um, hindi malinaw yung job description. Hindi malinaw yung requirements, right? Kasi scammers try to make their emails sound so believable, right? At marami namang taong gullible, right? But some of them list job requirements. Usually, these requirements are so ridiculously simple, no? That almost everyone can qualify. Yun nga, no-brainer, di ba? No-brainer. Kunyari, ito, must be 18 years old, must be a citizen, must have access to the internet. Hello? Di ba? Siyempre, unang-una na, di ba? Internet, online nga, eh, online job. Obvious requirement na yun, right? Siyempre naman, the job requirements don't mention years of education or experience. As a rule of thumb, if it's a real job, the requirements will be quite specific, di ba? They will, ano, kung anong class yung educational attainment ang kailangan, anong level, or, or di ba, may degree bang kailangan, may certifications ba? Pero pag walang sinasabi kung di, generic na must be 18 or must be whatever, must be a citizen of that country or whatever, tapos basta internet access. Napaka, ano naman, general, ha? Okay, ano pa? Ano pa ang signs? Number three, unprofessional emails. Yung poorly written, di ba? Sometimes nakakakuha kayo ng email na parang ang weird na mga wordings, tsaka mali-mali pa yung grammar. Some emails from scammers are well written kasi nga gumagaling na talaga sila, eh. You know, meron na sa, yung mga iba nag-hire na talaga ng writers, copywriters. Or, si, or sila mismo kung magaling sila. But most of them aren't. Okay? Most of them 
kita mo wrong grammar, wrong grammar, o kaya you know, parang hindi yung context medyo balibaliktad. Real companies hire professionals, isipin yan, who can write well, okay? If the email contains spelling, capitalization, punctuation, or grammatical mistakes for that matter, please be on your guard. Kuidaw na kayo, okay? Here's an example, sige, sige. Bigyan ko kayo na example ng mapangit na ano, ha? Wait lang. Well, because talaga, sometimes, you know, you know nakaka, I think some of us have already have received such as things like this, right? Teka muna. Okay, let me just get it and grab it for you guys to see, okay? Uh, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna get it. Sandali lang po. Patience is a virtue. I hope everybody had a good, ano ah, Easter. Uh, Achi, tsaka Jake, tsaka the other people watching na hindi ko makita. Okay. So, uh, what was that? Sorry, dito pa ako nag-scan-scan. But, okay, I'm, I'm trying to find... There you go, okay? Ito, example ng email na ang pangit ng ano. Don't worry, okay? Ayan, let's see. The human resources, okay, have just reviewed your resume due to the one you posted on www.allstarjobs.com. Sabi daw, okay? You are now scheduled for an interview with the hiring manager of the company. Her name is Mrs. Ann Jernigan. You are required to set up a Yahoo Mail account and a Yahoo Instant Messenger. Sino mo yan? Ganyan yung mga kunyaring ano nila. Sulat sa'yo, di ba? Di ba kakapost mo lang, tapos yan, pinanggap na kagad, right? Well, yan ang example. So, in this example, the mistakes include capitalization capitalization errors in human resources dapat yun human resources hr human tsaka resources capital tsaka ang yahoo dapat yahoo capital okay punctuation errors commas periods and parentheses should be followed by a space all right and grammatical errors sabi human resources have reviewed di ba dapat the human resources department has reviewed your resume hindi have reviewed so, yun. Doon mo makikita. Mali-mali. Okay? Ano pa? Number four. Online interviews via messaging services. Ano yung sabihin? Many attempted scams say the interview will take place online using an instant messaging service. Okay? The scammers often include instructions for setting up and contacting the hiring manager and may ask for confidential information. Ayun na naman tayo. Yung mga phishing email, di ba? Actually, if you're applying for an online job and you're told, tapos sinabihan ka na, na, na ang, ang interview mo will take place online via instant message or IM or messenger, research nyo na kaagad yung company and, and its representatives before you agree to an interview. And if you agree to be interviewed, ask detailed questions about the job during the interview. Okay? Ang warning ulit. Okay? Warning ulit. Don't give out Confidential information such as your bank account, credit card, or even your social security or your TIN numbers, huwag niyong ibibigay, okay? Huwag na huwag ibibigay ang confidential information niyo or even personal information online, lalo na sa online na mga na ganyan, na, na, na employer, kunyari potential employers, Okay? Okay, number five. Number five. Ang emails don't include contact information. Diba? Pansin ninyo, pag may nagpadala sa inyo email, diba usually, anito yung pangalan na sumulat sa ilalim yung company, tapos email address ng company, cell phone number or fax number or whatever, nandun dun sa baba. So, so after the signature. If the email doesn't include the company's address and phone number, it's a good, it's a good bet most likely, ano yan, scammer, alright, fake runes, fake news, okay. Uh, also watch out na for interviewers na, na 
palagi nag-make na excuses kasi alamin mo yung bakit yung kanyang email address, hindi company email address. It's a personal email, Gmail, Yahoo, whatever, Hotmail. Pansinin mo, syempre, pag tinanong tina mo, ang dami excuse by saying, kunyari, the company server is down, chuchuchuchu, ang dami-daming uh, excuse kung bakit personal email ang gamit. Yun na lang, maging ano ka na lang din pag personal email ang gamit at hindi company. Kaya, kaya ang, ang connection to that is yung nag-usapan natin how to be put your business online, right? You have to have your own domain, you have to have your own uh, ISP, you have to have your own um, email address na, na ang company name mo nandun. So, so, in the same token as ito, pag nag-apply ka ng trabaho online, pansinin mo nga yung email address ng company na kumontak sa'yo or trying to hire you. Kung personal email, huwag mo nang, huwag mo nang pansinin. Well, most likely, scam yan. Okay? Uh, the scam, kanyari, some scam emails will look like they come from real companies. Uh, totoo naman. The scammer's email address, kanyari, was jobs at synergy.world.com. The real company email is jobs at synergyworld.com. So, ginaya lang. Tinweek lang ng konti yung address. Yung ang scammer's address, jobs at synergy slash world.com. Eh, yung totoong company is jobs at synergyworld.com. It's ang world, world lang yung synergy world. Walang hyphen. Okay? So, ayun yun. Scammer yun. Uh, ininanakaw niya yung identity na itong job synergy. Okay? An another tip. Google email addresses to ensure their validity. See, it's possible now. Google is our friend, okay? Be sure to copy and paste each address into the search box as is. You can also type in the word scam after the email address to see if someone else has reported the company. Ayun, see? Pag nag-Google kayo, kahit na company name or yung email address, dagdagan nyo ng yung search, ano nyo, nanalagay nyo dun sa search window, lagyan nyo ng scam sa dulo para malaman natin if somebody else has already reported this company as a scam, okay? Or this offer as a scam. Ano pa ito? When the search results don't add up. Ang ibig sabihin, when the search research, when the search results don't add up, ibig sabihin, pago kayo mag-agree, nagpa-interview, mag-research muna kayo, okay? Tingnan niyo muna kung real company itong nag-offer sa inyo or, or, or nag-post ng job opening. Pardon me. You should be able to find information about the company by doing an online search. Diba? That's, a, that's a, a way, of course, making technology work for us, right? Use it to our advantage, right? That's what it's there for, okay? Total naman, ang internet was made for business. So, make, let it, uh, you know, let it work for you, to your advantage. Okay, so do an online search of this company. Finding information does not guarantee the company is legit, ha? Talaga, kasi talaga ang magagaling na talaga yung iba, eh. O talagang pag sinerch mo, mukhang mukhang totoo siyang company, right? So, uh, it doesn't guarantee you, of course, na pag kinasearch mo, totoo na rin siya. Yeah, because, you know, some some scammers pretend to be and ano some scammers pretend to be real companies yung ginagamit nila yung yung uh, address ng totoong companies tapos may may mask nila yung tinitweak lang ng konti para kala mo pag sa unang tingin mo galing sa SM kala mo sa unang tingin mo galing sa Microsoft you know basta you know search the company first do an online search but like again, like I said, finding information does not guarantee the company is legit, okay? But if you can find, but if you can't find anything, mas lalo ano yun, red flag yun. Pag wala ka ma-search, hindi mo siya ma-search, of course, you can bet your life it's a scam, okay? For example, if a, one reader got a scam job offer from feejax.com. Firstly, their email is very unprofessional. There's no signature at the end. When I checked for the company on Google, I found nothing. Not even a website, sabi nitong uh, nag, uh, nag, 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 uh, post. Some, kasi, kasi nga, some scammers pretend to be real companies. 
they used to big companies and then just tweak the address. One of our readers, okay, oh, one of our readers, one of our uh, uh, um, listeners, okay, sabi niya, nakareceive daw siya kunyari ng offer from, so yan, pag kunyari, pag nakareceive kayo ng offer kunyari, pag tingin nyo, nakalagay kunyari doon, uh, sabi na natin kunyari, si Ms. McDonald's, McDonald's, Basta kasi, you just have to watch closely and watch out for it. Kunyari, Procter and Gamble. In this na Procter and Gamble, ang nakalagay doon, Proc, Proc, Procter and Gamble. But the real company is, of course, Procter and Gamble na P-R-O-C-T-E-R and Gamble. G-A-M-B-L-E. Ang napadda sa'yo, Procter, P-R-O-C-T-O-R and Gamble. You know, tingnan nyo kasi, minsan talaga yung mali nila, maliliit kasi yung mga ibang tao pag sa first pass, tingin nila yun na yung company pero when you look closely, wrong spelling wrong pala, right? Uh, you know, marami, marami akong mga kakilala na they got job offers through messenger, they got job offers through text and through email, right? Uh, tapos may, mayroon pa mga tinawagan and offered a job by someone who claimed to represent a real company. But then, nung ni-research niya yung company, but then, no, after nag-usap sila, he found out it was a scam. Okay? Always contact the real company and ask if, kunyari, yung, yung agent na kausap mo ganun, sinabi niya, yung pangalan niya, or yung, yung uh, HR person na nag-hire. Okay? Always contact the real company and ask if this employee exists. I-check mo muna kung totoo nga yung nag-interview sa'yo ay taga doon sa company na yun. That is how you find out that the employee is a fraud, right? Una-una, check in muna kung talaga siya nagtatrabaho doon, right? Sophisticated scammers kasi sometimes set up a nice-looking website. Yun nga, ginagandahan nila, ginagalingan na nila eh. But, but like I said, okay, looks can be deceiving, right? Huwag, huwag tayong maasilaw sa ang ganda ng website, ang galing. Pero yun nga kasi ginagawa nila, on purpose na yun, ginagaling nga lang talaga para mukha talaga silang legit, right? Another tip, okay? Go to who is, who is who dot, capital, capital W, H, O, tapos dot, is, uh, capital letter I, tapos S, who dot is, and type the company's web address into the domain names or IP addresses box, tapos click nyo yung search button. The results, the results will tell you the date when the website was created. If the website is less than a year old, be wary. Kung daw na kayo doon, okay? Or kung, kung kahapon lang ginawa, lalo na. Or even if last month lang ginawa, lalo na, right? Not unless it was a, this this um, company had an old website before, ni revamp lang nila or ni reinvent nila yung kanilang website. Uh, doon kayo maniwala kung bakit bago, right? Pero... They can also make that an excuse to you. Kunyari, nagbabago sila, nag, nagre-renovate sila ng website, kaya bago lang. Well, just just be on your guard, okay? Tapos kung ikaw ay nagsusearch ng information about the company online, kung naghanap ka ng informasyon pa, tungkol sa isang company online, search for both the company's name and the email address. Kasi nga, di ba, searchable ng email address. So, so two prong, Okay. Make it, do it both ways. Search for the company's name and the email address. Okay. Also, the ba, copy paste, copy and paste paragraphs from the email into the search box. Bakit? Kasi yung scammers may change the company name, but reuse the other parts of the email. And it's possible you'll find an identical email posted below, right? Or po, uh, posted below, posted online, right? That's what I mean. See, ang galing-galing ng technology na lahat ng bagay niyan, pwede mo nang i-trace kung saan ang galing, sino sumulat, or saan ang galing na, na town. Uh, much less, okay, you can search domains or IP addresses now. Cool, right? So, sa who is, doon tayo magsa-search. Okay? Alright? So, when searching for information about the company online, ulit, ulitin ko, search for both the company's name and the email address. Also, copy-paste paragraphs from the email into the search box para malaman mo rin kung plagiarized to or 
ginamit ginamit na ito over and over again. Repeat lang po. Replay ng replay. Ng template na ang ginawa, right? Okay? So, another thing to watch out for, of course, number seven is you when you are asked to provide confidential information, mag-isip-isip ka na nun, okay? Lalo na lalo na bank account, credit card number. Iha-hire ka nga eh, bakit kahihinga ng ganun, di ba? So, silang dapat magbayad sa'yo, bakit ako kailangan magbigay ng credit card? Or bank details. Oh, well, bank details yan. I admit, may mga may mga direct deposit employers talaga to your back. So, ang, ang magaling na lang dyan, mabuti na lang dyan, basta i-verify mo lang yung company. Double check, triple check, you know, check ng check, para lang malaman mo na legit sila at hindi kayo need scam, okay? Kasi na nga, other scammers will tell you to go to a website and fill out a credit report form or provide con confidential information so that they can put you on the company insurance. Well, identity theft scam kang na uh, falls into picture here or or ang nakakapagpaalala sa akin dito. Kasi they try to get you to provide your social security number or birth date and other personal information or TIN card, TIN number here sa Philippines or Phil Health number. Yan, hinihingi ito ng nag nag red flag dito ng scammer ako, scammer ako because tinatanong you know asking for these things from you. A tip again. Before entering personal information online, kasi yun na nga eh, yung mga iba, in lieu of physically inihingi sa iyo yung information mo, meron silang form, online forms where, that you have to fill out. When, well, but in fact, that form, that online form already is the, is the form of pagnanako because ininanako ng may identity mo, okay? So before entering personal information online, check to make sure the website is secure, okay, by looking at the web address bar. Okay. Secure websites have URLs that begin, begin with that HTTPS, not HTTP lang. Ang legit dyan, tandaan nyo, are HTTPS, hindi HTTP lang. Okay? Bogus yan, fake or hacked account yan or whatever. Okay, so number eight. Okay, we we'll discuss number eight, um, uh, telltale sign. Sending money or using a personal bank account, okay? Kasi, may mga iba akong kaibigan na nagsabi na they have received checks that look like real cashier's checks sa Amerika to nga. They are instructed to deposit the check, keep some of the money for themselves, and send the rest of the money to someone else via Western Union or MoneyGram. Well, kunyari daw kasi, international firm sila, hindi, hindi niya kaya magpadala diretso. So, kung pwede rin daanin na sa inyo, right? Well, uh, so, sasabihin sa inyan, they are, you are instructed, di ba, to deposit the check, tapos keep some of the money for yourself, and send the rest of the money to someone else via Western Union or MoneyGram. Therefore, nag-aabono ka. Kunyari, nung hindi niya mabigay, right, ikaw na muna. Padala mo daw sa Western Union or MoneyGram. Then, a few days or weeks later, they get the call from the bank saying the check is fake. Oh, and they need discount mo na. Oh my God. They have lost the money they sent. Diba? Kasi wala, hindi na mababayaran tong check na fake, right? Okay. So here's an example again of a scam sent from um, a follower, okay? Sabi nila, ito yung offer doon. Ito daw yung offer sa kanya sa email. Sa Amerika to ha. Once you receive the check, first of all, I want you to head right away to your bank and get the check cashed. Ganyan ba naman ang wordings ng professional, ano, na, na HR or, or professional person? I, once you receive the check, I want you to head right away for your bank and get the, cash, check, the check cash. Inuutusan mo ko agad magmadali pumunta sa banko at i-cash na yung check. Deduct your first week pay, which is $500, and deduct extra $100 for the MoneyGram sending fee and proceed to the nearest MoneyGram outlet near you to make a payment to my wife travel agent. Kunyari daw, right? Papakash papa, papa, yung check, kunyari, pero i-advance mo muna. Eh, dahil alam mo ilang days pa, supposedly mag-clear yan. So, gagamitin mo muna yung funds mo. Uh, pero, di ba, meron pa siyang... Meron pa siyang enticement or teaser or something to encourage you to, to do that is yun nga, 
kung hanin mo na yung, i-advance mo na yung sweldo mo, dagdagan mo pa ng 100 for the fee. No? ba? Diba? Kung ikaw naman talaga, hindi ka nag-iisip, gagawin mo, right? Pero talaga, ikaw mag-aabono. Some scammers pa ask to use your personal bank account to transfer money from one account to another account. Ang tawag na dyan ay money laundering, alright? And of course, that's against the law. Other scams ask you to receive and forward packages from your home. Yung nga dropship, ano kanyari, business. Huwag kang pumayag because these packages might contain contrabando or mga ayan, illegal substances, stolen goods, my gosh. Huwag na huwag kang papayag maging dropshipper na hindi mo kilala, okay? Not unless uh, may mga refer-referral, alright? Okay. Eto pa ulit, okay? When they ask you to pay for something, okay? When they want you to pay for something. Attention, it's really getting so hot. The weather is so hot. Lagi natuto yung throat ko. Dahil naman kasi naman, all I do is talk all day. That's my work. That is my my online life nowadays is to keep talking. And writing. Okay? Writing and talking, okay? So if they want you to pay for something, okay? Mag-isip ka ulit. Kasi, legitimate companies, okay, don't ask for money. Lalo na yung, ha-hire ka, ikaw pahinga ng pera, parang tanga, right? Tsaka, hindi yun. Or, yung, or, may training to, bayaran mo yung training, hindi yun, but baliktad. Ikaw pa nga binabayaran for training sometimes, or more often than not, right? If you're told you need to purchase software or pay for services, beware, okay? Kunyara, ito, ito example, okay? Here are, here are examples. Kunyari, sasabihin, buy this software, okay? Uh, sabi, sabi ng isang, ano, isang kakilala sa Amerika, yung friend ko, yung isang offer daw, sabi, they were offering $15 per hour for training, ha? training pa lang, $15 na. Miss me, oh, sweldo na yan ng ibang tao sa regular job. And $24.75 Pag nag-start ka na, oh, hindi pa rin masama, right? Mas lalong lumaki. Ha, isipin mo na lang kung full-time, siguro sasabihin niya, $50 an hour ka na. And then, siyempre, excited naman yung kaibigan ko mag-work from home. And actually, uh, you know, kasi ang ganda naman kasi ng, ng enticing talaga yung offer. $15 per hour for training pa lang and $24.75 to start. Di ba? Exciting. So, uh, Sige, sige, sige naman yung kaibigan ko sa Amerika. Sabi niya, wow, I can actually work from home and, and earn a decent li- living. Well, truth be told, okay, wag naman kayong madismaya because totoo naman yan. There are a lot of online jobs there that that will allow you to earn uh, a, a fairly decent salary, if not a really dec- decent salary, uh, comparable to sometimes even better than the money that you used to earn when you were working face-to-face, right? So, kunyari, yun na nga, sinabi na itong nag, uh, nag-text sa akin, na nag, nag-messenger sa akin sa, sa Amerika. Ito nga, yun daw yung offer sa kanya, $15 per hour, $24.75 to start. Tapos, may, nag-interview na. The interview went well, and, and tapos sinabi daw sa kanya na nakuha na niya yung job, right? In-interview sa phone, right? And then, she was told, uh, you got the job. Siyempre, happy siya. Then, tapos sabi nila, sabi daw sa kanya, they're going to send me a brand new HP laptop for work. Ah, oh, say mo. Bigyan ka pa ng laptop to use. But first, you need to pay for the software for it. Sabi, Siyempre, sabi ng kibigin ko, no problem. Trabaho naman ng kapalit, tsaka may laptop pa. Uh, you know, sabi ko, I, Walang problema kasi I've been, I, I, I've na raw niya yung kanyang laptop dalawang beses na. So, medyo pupugak-pugak na. Well, itong red flag doon. Masabihin sa kanya, we need you to send $312 for Western, to Western Union for software costs. Yan daw ang kung magkano yung software na babayaran is $312. Diba may tingi pang $12? Hindi lang $300, you know? Right? So, mag-isip ka na again. Papadala ka nga ng HP, pero papadala ka muna ng 300. Isipin mo ulit, 
A legit company will not ask you to do that. They will not ask you to pay for anything na kailangan na related sa job na sila ang dapat mag-provide. Kagaya na yung mga call center na nag-work from home, right? They were asked to bring home their, their computers, okay? If not, if not buying the new laptops, right? Pero yun yun. So, yung red flag is when when the person asks you for money. Okay, to send the money first before, you know, uh, before uh, getting hired. Ay, just go. Wag naman. Masyadong obvious, right? Okay, so ito pa yung isa. Na-mention ako nito kahapon eh. Sa Amerika to, very, very, ano to, uh, important yung credit rating, okay? But when when the potential employer or the one uh, that posted the jobs ask you to pay for the credit report or yung pagsisi ay nyo, huwag mo nang ano yan, ituloy, okay? Kasi ano ang scam? Kunyari, itong example, sabi na nung, nung ad, the job will require you to work in a high financial environment. So it is our corporate policy that we perform financial verification check on all employees to ensure applicant registration info, okay, to ensure that applicant registration because to, to ensure nga that yung information na binibigay ay tama, right? Kasi nga, company policy ng mga aplikante na, di ba, doon sa Amerika, pati credit, credit rating sila check. Oh my God. Uh, sabi, nga, sabi ng isang nag-message, these companies are using the internet to get job-seeking people to use their site, okay? Then they tell them they need a credit check to apply for a job through their site. Pero actually, actually, sila yung credit report company. So sabihin nila mag-credit check ka pero ikaw mo babayad. The company charges an unauthorized fee on your credit card which you used to pay a $1 time fee for the credit card. Ayun pa, pagka ginamit mo yung credit card mo, doon sa sinasabi sa'yo, bayaran mo kahit piso itong credit report. Mahahack na nila yung credit card mo. Gagamitin na nila yun to do other things, okay? Very, very sad, but it's, that's a sad reality. Yung magnanako, pag nanako na yan, ginagawa. Okay? Ano pa? If they email you and ask you or tell you uh, up front sa interview, you have to pay to have your resume reviewed. Or you can have, kung kanyari may email sa'yo, we can, uh, kung ano ka, kanyari nag-apply ka ng maraming trabaho, bilang all of a sudden, may makakuha ka ng email saying na, you have a strong uh, you have a lot of credentials, you know, we, we viewed your resume, kunyari sa, sa JobSeeker or, or sa Jobs.com, at impressive yung resume mo. Kaya lang, you know, in order for it to get more traction or get more traffic yung, yung mga nag- tumitingin sa resume mo, pa-review mo sa amin. Kasi sabi, you have a lot of strong, relevant experience and are excellent candidates, although it would be best to improve your resume before anything with it. So, sila na nagsasabi, pa-review nyo daw yung resume nyo. Siyempre, for a fee na naman. Tapos, sasabihin pa na, I can refer you to a resume writing expert that can improve your resume to the standard we are looking for. See? So, sila, ito na yung company sumsulat sa'yo na nakatanggap ko niya yun ang application mo. Sabi niya, na-impress kami sa ano mo, experience mo, pero pa-review natin yung resume mo para malaman pa natin kung anong points doon talaga ang relevant or mas kakailangan niya ng company. So, sasabi niya, I can refer you to a resume writing expert that that can improve your uh, resume to the standard or to the, to the, kung ano yung requirement na the, the company is looking for. <coughs> Tapos, sasabi niya pa, I believe ang cost nito $150 or so. So, sinabihan ka na ng amount, yan ang amount na expected pa dalam. Okay? Ano pa? Sometimes when you it, check your gut feeling, okay? Check your gut feel. Siyempre, of course, like I said, noong pisa, researching is the, your best defense. Researching the company is your, is your best defense, okay? But some scammers are very clever. Anong sam? Marami na talaga, like I said, ginagalingan na nila, pagalingan na sila dyan. Maraming matalino, pero ginagamit yung talino para sa scam so quick man, easy money okay if you start to feel that things aren't right trust your intuition okay 
ask questions and pay close attention to the answers. Okay? Magalan niyo yung process na and then be pressured into and don't be pressured into making a commitment or giving out personal information. Palagi naman tayo na merong um, upper hand with the fact na we have Google in our fingertips. We have uh, technology to, to use for us and help us get uh, avoid these scams. Although sa technology pa rin nangyayari ito mga pag-scam or sa online, okay? Basta do more research. If it turns out to be a scam, then report it to the authorities. Sa America, sa Better Business, Bu Bu uh, Better Business Bureau. Dito sa Pilipinas, uh, yung cyber police or cyber crime lab. Pwede ka mag-report to, I see. Right? Okay. So, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send, send it to my messenger or dito sa Broad Streamcast Communicators page. And we will try our best to address everything, okay? So, again, nakikita niya sa background ko, di ba? Online job scams, right? You know, because it is a real concern, all right? Ang dami na talaga, yan. Online job scams, okay? And how to recognize a freelance scammer. We'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow, okay? So, um, in con uh, to wrap up that issue, okay? If your gut, if your gut says, or if you have a gut feeling, na parang di yata, maganda tong feeling ko about this company, ah, then don't go through with it already. Well, ah, hindi ko doctor, yung offer. So don't go through with it, di ba? Pag kamerong kang uh, apprehension, wag mo na lang itagay. All right? So how to tell if a job is really a scam? I said, pay attention to the warning signs, right? I just gave you some things to watch out for. There are more things that you can watch out for to help protect you as a consumer and, you know, and also as a, a potential employee. So, mga nag apply ng trabaho yan. Pay attention to the warning signs. Sometimes it's, it seems that there are as many scams, di ba? So, kung ganon karami yung mga job offers online, ang ganon din karami yung uh, scammers, okay? That's why it's best, to, okay, if you want to belong to a platform uh, ng paghahanap ng trabaho, belong to the legit ones and tested and tried three times. Yung, yung sinasabi ko, yung Upwork is a good venue for that. And of course, um, free jobs, tsaka flex jobs. You know, there are a lot of ano naman, uh, legitimate job openings or job boards. Okay? Sabi nga ng ng uh, president ng link up si Toby Dayton, Dayton there is just no question that job boards as a whole can be uh, if they are not diligent in managing the risk for consumers a magnet for scams rip off and identity theft ibig sabihin talaga kung walang mga job boards at saka hindi nila o yung mga tao hindi pinipay attention yung mga notes sa bulletin board then, of course, it, it will be so easy for these scammers to rip us off and to steal our identities, right? Which is really, really major and very common. Yung pag nanakaw ng identity or, or even debit card, binababawasan ng unauthorized, kagaya na nangyari sa akin. You know, so, ripasa lang, of course, right? Na how to tell if a job is really a scam, right? Uh, Review, before you apply for a job, review the warning signs to help you determine if a job is a scam, right? If you're not sure, take the time to research, okay? The company to make sure the job is legitimate. Make sure uh, you check the company, tapos kunin nyo nga yung pangalan ng employee na humaharap sa inyo and verify his uh, identity or verify his presence in the office kung totoo. All right. Okay. Number one. Okay. Research the job and the company. Una una. Research the job and the company. Visit the company's website, and if they don't have one or it doesn't fit with how you describe the company, ay nako. Consider that a big red flag. Nakamamaya ginamit lang alit naman yung pangalan ng somebody. Just to make quick lang. All right. Okay. You know. 
Okay? How prof basta tingnan niyo kung how pro professional the the job offer is, okay? Is there any contact information? Are job center information posted on the site? Oh, hello there. I'd like to welcome Charlie Rodriguez, an old old friend friend. Uh, Charlie Rodriguez from San Francisco who's watching. Uh, good afternoon to you or is it good evening? Uh, it's good evening now in California where she's from. Hello there, Charlie. Thank you for making it to my show. We're still talking about how to tell if a job, if an online job offer is really a scam. Okay? So, nga, research the job and the company. Use Google, di ba? Google is our friend. Over and over again, I say that. Use Google to research the company. Search by the company name also, di ba? And sinabi ko nga kanina, you can also search now through the email. If the company won't give you a name, don't bother applying. To see what information you can find, search the company name sa Google. Take it one step further and search by company name. Lagay niyo yung company name, kunyari, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, trading. Duktongan niyo ng scam to see if you can find information or if they have been reported as scams. Okay? Again, let's check niyo yung job details, right? If it isn't listed sa, sa job posting, yung details ng trabaho or yung job description, then try to find out if there's a salary or if you're paid on commission or by the hour ka ba. Kasi hindi naka-disclose yung ganun information, right? Tapos hindi, hindi mo pa mahanap yung website, ay, huwag mo nang tuloy yung application mo, okay? Pero kasi it's important when you're when you're on the interview with these people suppo or supposed to potential online employers, Ask how much you're going to be paid, how often you're going to be paid, and how you are going to be paid, okay? Kasi if the company doesn't pay an hourly rate or a salary, carefully investigate the details. Alamin mo na kung hindi pa niya ito binanggit, right? Okay? Tapos, merong mga scam lists of uh, com companies and businesses that are online. You can check the scam lists, all right? Check with organizations like, yun nga sa America, yung Better Business Bureau, the Better Business Bureau, and the Federal Trade Commission to see if the company has been reported as a scammer, right? So, good talaga for America, may Better Business Bureau, but I, I I have to still verify if sa atin, yung DTI, meron din such a thing na pwede kang mag-report, pwede kang mag-email mag, ano, sa kanila and send the information about those bogus, fake online scammers, Okay. Ulit, ulit, tandaan, do not pay anything. Do not, do not succumb to, to ano, the enticement of a, a higher pay and for less time of doing work, okay? Basta do not pay. Do not pay money for anything, all right? Legitimate employers don't charge to hire you. Isipin na lang. You're the one that's going to get money from them. They're not going to extract money from you. And, and just for applying at that, no way, Okay. Don't send money for work at home directories. Advice on getting tired, on getting hired. Company information or for anything else related to a job. Okay. Once again, once again, I'm telling you, check the company's references. Diba? That is the best that you can do. But say references work both ways. Diba? You're as entitled to check a company's references as they are, are also checking you out naman bago ka ma-hire. So, may, meron ka naman din karapatan, check mo rin sila, mag-background check ka rin sa kanila, no? Kasi baka mas scam ka. Ask for references if you're not sure the company is legitimate. Request a, li a list of other employees or contractors, hindi lang yung nakikita mo sa harapan mo na nagsusulisit. Then, contact the, re the references to ask how this is working out. If the company isn't willing to provide references, like names, email addresses, or phone numbers, then forget it. Goodbye, lagumbay. Do not consider this opportunity. Ay magbigay ng info eh, di ba? Something fishy. Okay. Tapos na, na mention ko na to last week about or, nung tungkol sa mga online tutoring and online jobs. Forget to see this opportunity as a get-rich-quick scheme. Avoid listings that guarantee you wealth, financial success, or kaagad ka makakabali ng bahay, bukas ng bukas, pwede ka ng bali ng kotse, or that will help you get rich fast. Stay clear out of listings that offer you high income for part-time work. 
they will do none of the above. That's sad to say, okay? So, kalimutan na yung uh, get, get rich quick schemes, all right? And last of all, okay, we have to be careful, all right? Because if it sounds too good to be true, you can be sure it is. Although, also, uh, read any of, uh, also, of course, be very, be very, be very careful, right? And also read any offers you get very carefully. Please scrutinize, analyze, what have you, but be very careful. Don't fall prey. Lalong lalo na isang mingi ng pera. Tao, kagaya niyan, one candidate for employment got a very detailed job offer from an employer. The only problem was that she didn't, or she she didn't apply for the job, okay? And because nga, marami sa atin na yun na nga nagsasend ng resumes left and right, here and there. Ako nga, my, my, my resume is just there, nakababad sa LinkedIn, nasa job seeker, nasa jobs.com. Hindi naman ako nag-apply ng trabaho right now, but then I just float it out there for information, right? And, and for potential clients because I can teach, right? So, yun nga, itong problem nung uh, nag-text, the only problem was hindi siya nag-apply sa trabaho tapos nila siya nga tawagan nire-request yung bank account information niya so that doon daw siya babayaran. Well, uh, it's a little bit hard to tell fake email or fake memos because some of these people are already good at what they're doing. Okay? Ngayon nga, tsaka kung marami na silang pinita, pwede na silang mag-hire ng tagasulat. Right? So, uh, in summation, okay, be very careful. Review, review, research the company first that's offering before you even apply or before you even agree to an interview, okay? So, yan ang ating paksa today is kung paano na how to tell if a, a, an online job offer is a scam, right? So, I have given you again a list of things, right, to watch out for, okay? Matapos na naman ulit, okay? We're three minutes uh, uh, away from uh, ending our show. Thank you so much for those people who came and watched the show. And of course, uh, the, uh, broad streamcast communicators uh, broadcasts also sa YouTube because immediately after our live stream programs, we are immediately transferred to YouTube where you can view past episodes of all our shows hour, every hour on the hour at here at broad streamcast communicators. So, kung sa mga nakamiss ng, ng, ng broadcast, pwede kayong bum pumunta sa sa YouTube at hanapin kami doon ang Broad Streamcast Communicator. So, nandun lahat ng shows ng Broadcast Stream. My, 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 my show included. So, please, thank you so much and watch out for those telltale signs. Online, online, job, online jobs are really, really real. Okay? Hindi siya fake news. Ano yan talaga? Bad news na totoong may mga online jobs ka. So, watch out for it. Thank you very much and I hope uh, that you join me again tomorrow. All right, same time, same channel. And uh, I hope you have a good lunch today. And please always leave faith, hope, and love alive in our hearts. Tsaka keep safe po, be careful. And uh, shout out to all my friends and family uh, uh, in Australia, in America, in California. In California is America. And in Europe, uh, the Bautista families, the Celestino families, the Laca families, my new family. Thank you, thank you for your support. And of course, my my loving uh, uh, husband to be, uh, Jenny Lockup, and my son, Kenny, who completes me every single day and keeps the faith, hope, and love alive in my heart. So thank you very much for joining me tomorrow more on online job scams, how to watch out for them, and how to avoid them. We will continue that segment. Maraming maraming salamat po, and have a good day. And it's happy Tuesday to everyone. And ano, masyado mainit. Ano kayo ha? Vitamin C, tsaka always hydrate. Thank you very much. And uh, have a good day. See you again tomorrow. This is Jay Bautista signing off for now. Inyong natuhayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online. Sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators, hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.
thank you very much.